Since 2003, Shravasti Abbey has sought to plant the Buddha Dharma firmly in Western soil. A cornerstone to this is establishing the fully ordained Bhikshuni Sangha, doing the rites the Buddha assigned for a harmonious Sangha. We have this thanks to kindness and generosity of Bhikshunis from Taiwan. They have assisted with novice ordination, helped us receive full ordination, and taught the monastic precepts and how to perform monastic rituals. As we finish the Buddha Hall and prepare to observe these rituals in this new space, the Taiwanese bhikshunis are still with us. Due to their generosity, we will soon receive four traditional Dharma instruments, a wooden fish, gong, bell, and drum. In a Chinese temple, these are essential. They will be treasured holy Dharma instruments in our Tibetan temple as well. Uh, what we've done here is, you know, our practice lineage is Tibetan, our Vinaya lineage is Dharmaguptaka from the uh, Chinese tradition because they have the Bhikshuni lineage. And so we, we uh, receive the vows there. We're like in this confluence of two huge rivers of Dharma. One that has come through, I mean, from through the Chinese tradition, almost 2,000 years coming out of India and coming forward. Another from, in Tibet, 1,300 years of Dharma coming forward, have come together in this moment in a place where the Buddha Dharma has never, ever flourished before. That is amazing. Just from our connection with the Taiwanese bhikshunis, again, is inconceivable. Without which, there's no dharma here. There's none. They translated the, helped translate the ceremonies. They have taught us how to do the ceremonies. Venerable Master Hang Ching came to teach us how to do Varsa, how to enter. She brought with her nuns that would teach us how to be able to adapt the melodies so that we can, we can do the ceremonies in this way. We have all the uh, chants done in them in English, but put to the melodies that are used in uh, Chinese temples. So it's very, very beautiful. use a wooden fish and gong in our rituals, which are suitable for a smaller space like our existing meditation hall. In March 2024, Venerable Children, myself and others traveled to Taiwan to participate in a full ordination. We were able to see the instruments used in the Buddha halls there, which are large spaces. So before we left already, some of our nuns had said, we want to make an offering for a new fish and a gong in Taiwan. And so that's why Venerable said, let's ask the abbess of Pui Nunri if she can help. And she recommended that we talk to a man named Mr. Lee who had helped her with all these instruments. And she managed to arrange for him to come and see us at short notice. Yeah, so you know, we had this little discussion between her, him and us, like just assessing what's the right size. And he said, you know, please send me blueprints of your space. And he starts to recommend, uh, yeah, roughly what size we're looking for. Along the way, different people hear about this and someone steps forward and says, I want to sponsor the fish and the gong and the cushions and the stands for them. And we're like, wow. You know, because these are things that are very important to the Chinese community, the Chinese Buddhist community, right? So they are just delighted to be able to offer these things. Yeah, so we, so we had the fish and the gong kind of spoken for. The this temple is also 
木骨，就是我们的大钟跟大骨，也是殿堂不可或缺的。那当然呢，在我的立场呢，我了解他们有这样的需要。And to kind of give us a tour of the big bell and the drum and all that, and we've been hearing the bell and the drum there every day at the ordination, and it's very beautiful. And so we talked to her about how you know we love these instruments, and then she just said, "I will get the lay people to together, and we will sponsor the bell and the drum." And we're both like, "What?" 每一个道场要成就的时候，我希望我们各道场或是我们其他有缘的居居士啊，都可以共享盛举啦。所以当然我也不能落了人后啊。所以这个大庆跟大鼓呢，我就发心啊，集结我们的啊、呃、我的徒弟啊，我的这个居士啊。共同来完成这位金色的这个禅宗木鼓。The sound of these instruments helps you to settle the mind, and it brings the assembly together. To tame and eliminate Mara's power and to eliminate all the defilements without a trace, the gong is rung in the open space. When here again all bhikshunis gather here, those who want to listen to the Dharma and cross the sea of life and death, when you hear the wondrous sound of the gong, please join the assembly just like clouds gathering together. Yeah, it's part of our practice. Play these instruments. Really hard to even translate the term that we say is chanting. In Chinese, it's called fan bai, and the word fan、um, kind of is the word for Brahma. So it's kind of like your, and these are heavenly melodies, or, you know, that that you're producing with these instruments. And the monastery manager of Fuanzi Temple said that this is how you feed the devas and the dharma protectors with your practice. So, if you want them to be well nourished,、uh, you know, and to protect the dharma where you are, then you have to play these instruments regularly and offer your practice to them. They also come to support us to practice the Dharma. How can they be nourished? Two ways: they can be nourished with the Dharma, and they can be nourished with the Dharma. They can be nourished with the Dharma, and they can be nourished with the Dharma. Um, it's something that pleases very much the the celestial beings and the dharma protectors, who are very much ever present in the kind of Chinese Buddhist consciousness.、Um, they say these instruments are the eyes and the ears of the devas and dharma protectors. Or I guess another way to translate that is like it's what they feed off of, they see and they hear. Right. 只是呢，因为这样的缘起，我们希望把这个。呃、嗯，美好的范贝啊，送到美国的社会精神，在美国有这么好的音乐跟这么好的范贝，去加持一方啊，那让他们众生呢，在那边的居士也跟我们一样，都能受益。The sound of the gong pervades the great universe of the three thousand worlds. The Buddha Dharma spreads to tens of thousands and hundreds of millions of lands. May all the merit generated be dedicated for world peace. May the benefit bless all the supporters for their extensive kindness. <laughs>